Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm with Coach Arnold once again. So we did that last video last time. That's right. Um, did pretty well. A lot of people were saying thank you about it. A lot of people were sending me messages. They were happy that we were giving precise tips on how to basically start and begin working out. One of the most recurring questions I always get, and you guys have been sending that to me through Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, is basically, is cardio essential to weight loss? And what types of cardio are there, right? So That's you have right. two types of cardio. We have steady state cardio, and then we have hip. Yeah. So which one usually is the best when it comes to, if our goal is mainly weight loss? Well, look, what I like to use a lot with, uh, with my clients or, or those that, that love to train with me is uphill sprints. And the reason being is uphill sprints great for the cardiovascular, great for the skeletal system, and reduces injury because of the shorter strides. And of course, you require more force to go up the hill, more energy, so you burn more calories. But when you're like doing a lifting program and everything, it's also very important for people to do both high intensity sessions mm -hmm. and to do also low intensity fasted cardio, walking, or Absolutely. things like that, right? The more cardio you do, the better for your recovery, and most of all, it's better for your muscles. Correct. You get thicker muscles, bigger muscles, and, and, and the, the best muscle to work out, sorry, I started there, best muscle is the heart muscle. You want to work that out as much as possible. So if I have like four weeks mm -hmm. or eight weeks of weight training and other sports, mm -hmm. how many times do you think a week should I still do like fasted cardio or hill sprints or things like that? Well, look, it depends what your weight loss goals are. If you're, say, competing for uh, a bodybuilding show, then of course cardio is essential. You're literally doing cardio, maybe leading up to your show every single morning, fasting. Um, and then, of course, after you work out, again, for your recovery. If you're just wanting to maintain your weight and just look good, um, then you want to mix it up, do faster cardio, and maybe do some hits, some hit training, some, some uphill sprints, and mix it up with your training. Yeah. Three times a week is probably good. As always, what I say to people, if you're doing faster cardio, then you're doing it for length, mm -hmm. as far as you can go, basically. Yep. It's really not tiring, it's just very tedious. But with the high-intensity cardio, that's one of my favorites, because it's just fast, it's mm -hmm. brutal, you die, you kind of feel like you're out of breath. So we're about to do a workout right now. We're gonna do 10 hill sprints. So we're using a medium hill, right? To make it a bit more interesting, I yeah. thought. It was everyone's idea. <laughs> I thought we'd add a 20 pound uh, med ball just to kind of work out those arms too. It crazy. puts you in a really hard position. Yeah. So you hit those for 10 times as fast as you can. Hit it hard for about 60 to 70 meters. Then you jog back, then you do it again 10 times. If you wanted to do it 20 times, go why the hell it. not? Give that a go. It's the type of workout you can do absolutely anywhere. Yeah, man, all you do is just find a moderate hill a friend to run with that can that's essentially faster than you you're faster than them so they can keep up or you can keep pace and uh, always go 110 percent why not check it out So that looked and felt extremely that was, painful. That was brutal. My arms were like, they were burning. They were on fire. Exactly. Like, I that's, don't know how you do it, man. That's a really good workout that gets your heart rate really up there. At my fittest before, I could, I could hit maybe 200, 210 in terms of a heartbeat. The higher you can go, usually it means the fitter, the fitter you are, the, yeah. fitter you are, the more capacity you are. Mm -hmm. So work up to that. I always tell people it's really important just to take your pulse um, yeah. so that you know what kind of effort you're putting out there. I mean, look, it's, there's, there's evidence to prove that if you're working at your maximum heart rate, not only are you getting fitter, but you're getting faster. So our tip to everyone out there, try that workout out. Keep pushing the number of reps you wanna do. Honestly, at the end of the day, working out is to your capacity. I always say, just go hard, go as hard as you can. Yep. Once you feel like you really can't put anything anymore, mm -hmm and call it a day. At least you'll feel like, you know, you've yeah. done something good. You either go hard or you go home. The whole thing. So make sure to watch all our other Century Tuna No Excuses video. Check out Mon's channel. He's lost a ton of weight. He's yes. looking good. I'm starting to freak out because I feel like I look fatter than him now. Uh -oh. So I'm just like, got a couple of weeks left. I got to put him to work, but he's yeah. doing great. So make sure you check out his channel. Check out all the previous videos that we've done. And just join this fitness movement. You won't regret it, trust me.